Ultra Legends. First video, let's get hype. Okay, uh, this is our first video of it ever made. And it, uh, it is a TAC Warehouse $200 order. Got them sponsoring us right here. No, I'm kidding, not sponsored, but uh, got a $5 share with it. So our first bait, well, my first bait, is gonna be the Castaic uh, Blue Shad 6 inch Swim Blade. And I'll pop it open for you guys really quick and show you what it looks like. So here we go. Nice, nice old swim bait. Got the jig, uh, the swim, swim bait jig right here. Uh, top hook, so that'll, that'll be good for smallmouth and largemouth bass over the summer when they are pre-spawn like at this time of year. And next we have some uh, Havoc uh, Pit Boss Junior green pumpkin color. These have always worked good pre-spawn, post-spawn, and even during the spawn. So I don't know if you can see them all that well, but there's, there's some freaking uh, nice little craws. Okay, next we have. Uh, Let's go with the Yellow Perch Swim Bait by Live Target. I'll pop that open for you guys right now. Sorry about the dog. My neighbor's pretty stupid when it comes to dogs. Doesn't know how to take care of them. Not, not the good neighbor, but whatever. If I can uh, pop, ow, if I can pop this open. You know, I really hate plastic. I really do. So yeah, again guys, it's, our, it's a new channel. We uh, used to have an old channel, but we didn't really like, like how like our first videos went out, like started out. So that's why we made a new channel. So hope to see you guys have like liking our videos and stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, here here's the um, live target perch. If you can't see that well enough, whatever. But anyway, it's uh, it's obviously yellow perch. Top top. Top hook like the like the other one like the Castaic, so that should work good with, with uh, bass and the spawn season and other stuff like that. And next we have uh, Gizzard Shad swim by swim by Live Target. Um, let's cut this bad boy open. So you know it's we're we're in Wisconsin, so right about this time of year it's smoke. Well, Mid pre spawn, mid uh, mid post, I mean mid mid spawn somewhere like Surgeon Bay area, uh, Door County. But we live in like around Green Bay, Wisconsin, so it's all so all, all different for us. So yeah, here's the Gizzard Shad. It's the same thing as Yellow Perch, top hook and everything. You know, the same thing, but just like a Gizzard Shad, and whatever. What's next? Okay, next I'll start moving on to some of the, some of the plastics. Uh, here we have the Yum Dinger, one of my most favorite baits to use. Because one, they're cheaply priced, and two, they're good for the buck. They are very good quality lures. And let's put them. Funny. Oh, I got a here. Maybe that's why I wasn't opening. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, these are in. Uh, uh, green pumpkin blue flake. God, they put too much plastic on these days. Way too much plastic. Okay, next bait, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Uh, the, the big bite baits, uh, trick stick, I believe it's called. Yeah, trick stick. Green pumpkin 5 inch. And I look, it looks somewhat like uh, it's covered in salt. Fortified with big bite juice. So, and I swear to God, if these smug as, as worse as those, uh, those craws last time, it's gonna be freaking nasty. I hate, I, I don't, I'm not hating on big bite kit bait company, but you, you make your bait a little bit too strong. <laughs> not gonna lie, it sinks up the whole deck box and stuff. Yeah, let's, let's see. Oh, that actually smells like bad. But yeah, covered in salt. So just like just like a regular Senko, just called a trick stick. No different than any other Senko you're gonna use. Okay, finally got the Yum thing open. 
Uh, this, yeah, like I said, this one is um, green pumpkin blue flake. So it's the same thing as a trick stick, pretty much, but uh, like little blue flakes in it and stuff, stuff like that. So again, just like a regular old Senko. And I already put wine. This is the wine I bought off that warehouse. Uh, this is a Yozuri uh, 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon, as you can see. So this this was a um, pretty cheap, uh, about I think like $14, 200 yards. So I'm pretty happy about that with uh, putting it on my new reel that I also got. And then next we have uh, must add hooks. We have uh, the big mouth two times fine uh, 3 0 ultra point hooks. Offset hooks, plastics, and stuff like that. So these will be good for like uh, plastic, like craws and uh, Senkos, like Texas rig and stuff like that. So that's going to be good for the summer and stuff. Next, we have some more, some more hooks. We have uh, two packs of. Um, Di uh, the Miki fishing tackle viper hooks drop set hooks. I got I got some drop set hooks for like finesse fishing on um, uh, Senkos like wacky rig and stuff like that drop shots Hoping to try some drop shots this summer for smallies and stuff like that down the river So these will probably work pretty good down down anywhere. So there's that Then next in case anything ever happened to like my treble hooks. I got some um Daiichi treble hooks uh, how much is it here? Five, size six. Should have got some bigger ones, but I guess I'll I guess I'll work with them right now. So those will work. And uh, next we have the precision bass weights. They're 316 ounce bullet weights. Bullet weights with uh, there's seven of them here, so those will work pretty good. They're, they're brass weights, so I've never tried them, so it's gonna be kind of odd using them for the first time. I always use like uh, tungsten or like lead weights, but. Hopefully these will be better than both of those because they are pretty cheap. They're like three dollars, three dollars for like seven of them. Okay, next before we get to my next two favorite lures, I got this reel right here, the Shimano Caius. I have a friend. I don't know if this is a good shout out or not, but he he's a uh, one lure does it all. He has the same exact reel as this, the Shimano Caius, and he's been using it for about three months now and he said it's one of the best casting that he's ever used. I tried casting with a lead weight earlier and I think it's going to be a good reel for, good, good reel for like the summer or something like that. And as you can see I put the 12 pound fluorocarbon on it for like finesse fishing and like uh, stuff like that. So hopefully that'll, that'll treat me good this summer and stuff like that. So that's that. And now two special lures. First we got the, the Savage Gear Bluegill. The line through this is the um uh, slow sinking one, so I'll open that for you guys to show you that. So I've I've been looking at these on like on YouTube about watching videos about that, and they look like a promising lure. I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty, frick and they're realistic, so they look pretty darn hefty. As you can see right there, just like that. About a, it's a five inch lure. Uh, it's it's kind of like the mo not modern but uh mostly like the um what what's the word for this uh average bluegill I should say because you normally don't see any like with the blue tip right here at the bottom of the mouth anymore you mostly see like orange and stuff like that so this should work pretty good at like ponds and stuff like that in the summer so I'm pretty happy about that okay and our last and final lure is is the one I've been waiting all for the whole time. And this is the Jackal Gon. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, Gon Terrell Jr. This one, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about it too. It looks like a very, very, very promising lure. It, it's uh, ranged in prices. I think like thirty dollars to forty dollars. It's uh, yeah, one and a half ounce, five inch uh, bluegill swim bait. And I'll pull it out for you guys. I actually like how they, they um, package this. If, if you can't see, they put all the packaging, like foam and stuff like that, inside the package. So when you receive it, there's like, a really hard chance of like it breaking. Because it would really suck if it would break. Because I mean, it is a thirty dollar lure. So yeah, and here it is. Ooh, they, oh yeah, they got it strapped on. I forgot about that. So I got to cut that off. Nice. for 
that. Oh, I, just, I don't even have to cut that. I can just. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so these lures, I mean, yes, they are expensive, but I've seen a lot of good, uh, I don't want to say reports, reviews about them. They've, I've seen a lot of people catch like big, uh, big largemouth bass, which is pretty exciting because that's what we're really mainly targeting for the summer and stuff like that. So that's going to be exciting. And I would say stay tuned uh, for this weekend because this weekend, me and my buddy Mason, who is who is uh, one lures at all, we are either heading up to um, it's I believe it's called Ephraim or Euphraim or something like that, or something like that. But uh, we're going there to go smallie fishing while they're on the bed still. So yeah, so stay tuned, stay tuned for that. Ow. Okay, as I was saying, as before, I got interrupted by these hooks. This right here is the ja the Jackal Gontarell Jr. As you can see, it has uh, feathered hooks that come with it, and uh, these are, these are some awful big trouble hooks. I'm not gonna lie; these are pretty big, and it's it's very real realistic. So I mean, it's nice. Got the little O-ring right, right here, so you can just tie on a lure, or sort of whatever. And what's interesting is on the back right here, it has a little eyelet for if you want to put an extra treble hook on it. So you can attach an extra treble hook right there just in case the fish are, are biting and let them go really easily. So then it's easier for you to get more hooks up and stuff. So, yeah. First video, you gotta be excited about that. Hopefully making more, so stay tuned. Like the video, comment, do whatever you want. Thanks for watching. Fish on.